I think it's going to have a lot of twists still, and uh, that's what we have to do: perform and play well tomorrow to deserve to to win the match, which um, I think will be difficult. I just announced Eric Ten Hag is their new manager. Mm. Have you been impressed by what he's done at Ajax? Yes, I think he's been really good. What he did a couple of years ago in the Champions League, especially the way he his teams play, um, it's a Man United decision. Nothing more to say. And back in December, they announced Ralph Rangnick just before. They played Arsenal, they won 3-2, announcing the new manager before this game. Will there be any impact, you think, on the fixture? For us, no. I, I don't know what it would happen to, for them, but uh, for us, nothing changes. After winning a dressing room is much better than, than you lose it. When I have to analyze that energy, obviously it is. But uh, what I'm proud about this team is how they behave when things are not going our way and, and when things become difficult and, and how will everybody to push the, the boat in the same direction. Thank you. There were three academy products who scored um, on Wednesday. Hmm. There's obviously been a lot of attention on them, the young players throughout the season. Can you just tell us how they dealt with that as the season's gone. Well, that's because all the work that uh, a lot of coaches and a lot of people that made decisions to recruit um, our academy players did in the past and that's at the end the fruit of a lot of work that they have done. So all the compliments I think they should be for them and for the players that they have to step in again in a in a big match where if you want to play in Champions League, I said it, you have to go to this stadium, you have to be able to win and uh, and it's rare, but um, our three academy players um, scored and made a difference in the game. And on Saturday as well, there's a plan for the support group, um, Ashburton. Ashburton. I'm really pleased to hear all those things because that initiative means that um, they are really engaged with the team, that they want to show their engagement with the team, um, that they want to participate and they feel like they are really participating in the success of the team. And I always said that if we make this stadium a fornance, it's going to be really difficult not to be successful. And they have a big, big part to play. And hopefully tomorrow they can help us to, to do that. I mean, to recapture those glories, um, how much has, have you had to struggle to turn Arsenal around? You, you are still turning them around, but how much mm. have you, have you, has it been a struggle? <laughs> Normally, when you have to make that many changes and that many decisions um, that are tough and they've been sitting there for a while, uh, it's pretty difficult for the manager to continue unless you are extremely successful. Um, but we've done that together. It's not a decision that I have made myself. It's a decision that we have thought really carefully and direction um, and a vision that we decided to implement at the club that we need that you had his risks, but it was, in our opinion, the best way to move as fast as possible and in an efficient way. And then you need support. And uh, I had a great connection to, um, with Edu, with the board, with the ownership. And uh, that relationship is vital, and especially in this stage in our project, because without that, there is n we don't have, at the moment, five world-class players that all the issues that we can have as a club, they're going to hide them every week because they score hat-tricks here. We don't have that. So what we have to do is exceptional people that are so connected with a very clear direction and vision about what we want to do with the club. And as well, our people believing in what we do, of course. See, that, that patience that Edu and the board are giving you has, has not been afforded to any of the managers that came in at Manchester United. What advice would you give their new manager? <laughs> I cannot give any advice. You know, I haven't been... 25 years in a row to give advice to anybody. I just uh, try to do my job as, as good as possible and, um, and the rest have to try to do the same. You're in this